I like the your titles that you do before your videos. Very nice. Can we do one of those? Can we? Do one of those? <laughs> yeah, can we? <laughs> we can do that. I do okay. twerking, but like. <laughs> <laughs> Just pretend you're Beyonce on a table. <laughs> oh my god, this is so. What it is? What? What it is? What it is? What's good in the hood, everybody? I wanted to say, what it? Is, what it is? What's up? Yeah. But I, <laughs> I don't sound cool when I say it. What it is? What's up? What's it? What it is? Is that it? No, it's what no. it is or what's up. What it is or what's up? Or you can say what's good in the hood. What's good in the hood? <laughs> Oh my God. We saw uh, your video and how you got some Botox done. I basically got a new face, guys. Obsessed! And uh, you said that you uh, it was a 3 out of 10 for you, the pain. We right. couldn't tell if it was in pain now. No, I got my cheeks, face, my right? lips and my chin reshaped. Mm -hmm. And then I got Botox around my forehead and my eyes. So I looked well, you look fantastic. <laughs> you look great. Thank and you. you're pleased with the results? Yeah. Is your face like, I love it or I hate it? Uh, Is it, it the same? So it, you're frozen for like two weeks and then it goes away. Two Can weeks. you do your most excited face? I, I literally can't. Is that it? Right. <laughs> okay, and now you're most angry. Um. <laughs> that, that's pretty good. That's about it. And I need to conceal these Gucci Prada Dolce Cabana bags under my eyes. Yes. Blend and conceal. Blend and conceal. Now, you've got some exciting news, and actually, Adam was the one who told me this first, but I'm, I'm just catching up that you are teaming up with Shan XO and that you're going to yeah. model for her. Yeah, well, we've already done it. So, we did it um, a year ago. So, it was kind of like under the wraps. I had to sign like an NDA, can't talk about it kind of thing. And I was really excited for when we like did the whole shoot. I think I'm the first guy to model for like a beauty brand in like New Zealand and it was like a big thing because she was like no we want to like make it more diverse like makeup's cool. not only for like girls kind of yeah. thing so throw you in there and I was like yeah throw me in there I'll do it <laughs> and I put on my Instagram and like we talked about it and had the biggest response I've ever seen in my entire life like so many people commented and they were like wow this is amazing. It yeah. used to just be and a, a lot of the time now when you look at a billboard it's skinny tall white women yeah and I think the more diversity we can get in the fashion industry in the beauty industry, the beauty industry, the better, right? Yeah, exactly. And also with makeup, like, when you wear a lipstick, it looks different in every different skin tone, so it's good yeah. to see that variety in the skin tones. Is that something that you aspire to as well? Like, you know, starting your own makeup? Starting my own? No, I couldn't. I don't see myself as, like, starting my own. Like, if I had to choose something, I'd have to do, like, weaves or something that I, like, <laughs> like extension, like, something that I'm known to, like, always, like, wear yeah. and, like, love. Yeah. And her weave was long and black. So, like, I do weaves or I do, like, my own chokers. But, like, beauty, I would maybe in the future, but, like, in the time being, like, I'm just, like, pretty chill. You've also got this crazy world of being, a, I guess, an online influencer and then you're studying as well. Yeah. So what are you studying? I'm doing my post-grad in um, brand communication. And, like, last night I was up to, like, 1am doing all my assignments. I've got, like, one left and it's, like, a social media assignment, but, like, oh. I can do them in, like, five seconds. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> but these assignments aren't due until, like, three weeks, so I'm doing them three weeks in advance because I'm just, like, I just want to get them out of the way. So when you graduate, what are you gonna do? I don't know, I wanna travel, I wanna relax her a bit, focus more on myself and making more creative content on like YouTube and Instagram. Like I'm really getting into doing like more dramatic makeup looks. Mm -hmm. So I really like the sparkly eyes. I, yeah, that's oh that was my favorite. I was just bored one day when before I was going out with my friends one night and I was like, I'm just doing something different. Like Let's just see what happens. And that night I went out and everybody was like, oh, who did your makeup? And I was like, me. Yeah. 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 Of course I did it. <laughs> and there we go, guys. Uh, we are now ready to shave all the fat off our face by blending all the contour together. How do you find people with, um, well, people, with your makeup? Look? Yeah, people do stare. I mean, Obviously, like, people are still trying to get used to the idea of, like, guys wearing makeup and looking more glamorous and feminine. And obvious, obviously, I get stares no matter where I go. Like, it doesn't matter where you go. Like, even in Auckland, you walk down the street, everyone's like, I'm like, what are you looking at? <laughs> I think people are just too scared to, like, say anything negative. Because if they do, like, I'm that kind of person that <laughs> I'll just, like, hit back. If they... I would, like, not physically hit back, but, like, I'll, like, throw my words back at them. Well, that's the thing. Like, people are more likely to not say it to your face and probably go home that night and say something online. Yeah. And you've been known to call people out online. Yeah, right? literally. <laughs> like, so I don't really... on them kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, If you come for me on the internet and you say mean things, like, expect to deal with the consequences. Like, I'm yeah. not going to let you off easily. My mum always said, um... If someone picks on you for no reason or like if someone like, you know, abuses you verbally, 
don't just run away, like stand up for yourself and like make sure that they face consequences mm -hmm. for their actions. There's so much of that in the yeah. internet where people just throw, throw abuse words, out there yeah. and feel like they don't actually And then when you hit back to them, they get so scared. <laughs> and they're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like I didn't mean to say that, rah, rah, rah. Yeah. And I'm like, well, why'd you say it in the first place? Right. Like, don't go around throwing these like hateful words towards people you don't even know. Just remember, you are fierce and you are flossy. Now, it's been awesome to catch up with you. If you like to, you can head along to Chris's YouTube <laughs> yeah. channel. And of course, Instagram. Yeah, Instagram is like my favorite at the moment. So oh. I have like my favorite platforms and Instagram's like my favorite at the moment. I love so it. Instagram's the one where you want people to go. Yeah, Instagram, you'll see more of me. Let's okay. just say that. Yeah, thank you so much for chatting. Thanks for having me. So Adam's doing the best of my life. Yeah, oh my god. How does it look? Do we look like Charlie's Angels? Oh, yeah. Heavy? No. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. I do, do twerking, but like... <laughs> 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 Just pretend you're Beyonce on a table. <laughs> oh my god, this is so...